how many of you like nice, round, firm bottoms? I love watching football and ballet, both of them, because you always see that kind of a bottom. And you know, everybody, absolutely everybody can have them. It really is easy. Jackie, what are you doing there? <laughs> I think he's trying to do a sit-up. Keep your feet down. Don, what are you doing? Sweating. That's a different sweating, did you say? <laughs> Boy, that's, that's the right answer. And Pam. I'm trying to get rid of a big seat. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good one for it. And Vicky? I'm doing this exercise and I'll be able to stretch easier. easier. Good, good. That's a good exercise. You see if you can reach your toes. Carolyn, what's that one for? Well, upper thighs, upper arms, I hope. <laughs> yeah, upper, uh, the bottom especially. Bottom it's a good bottom especially. exercise. Okay, now, if you would like to have a really good, round, firm bottom, come join us. This really works. That's a guarantee. Okay, everybody up? The one thing you have to remember is if there's anything on you that hurts, always, always be careful. If you need, if you're in the hands of a doctor, ask him first what you can do. But for this, we're going to begin with a couple of stretching things just to loosen you up so that when you start exercising, it won't hurt you. Okay, first, squat down. Remember, do everything very gently, especially on these first stretching things, because if your legs are tight in the back from too much sitting, it's going to be a real strain. If you're just beginning, put your legs apart because it'll make it easier. And then bring your knees, your knees up straight. Make sure your belly's way in. And come down again. And up. Are you getting your knees straight, Don? Are your knees straight? If they aren't, put your legs a little apart. It'll make it easier. OK, now try it again. Should you keep your head up or down? Well, I'm keeping mine up just to see what's happening. But <laughs> you can let your head go down. It relaxes you a little more, I think, if you let it down. Okay, if you can, as you go along, what you do is move your feet in closer and closer. That takes a little while of practicing to get the backs of your legs loosened up enough. And then after a while, you can put your hands down by the side of your feet as you get stretched out more. After how long a while? Well, <laughs> let's just say after a while. After all, we've got years to practice. That's right. That's right. It only takes time. Time's Getting relevant. yourself into good shape only takes time. Okay, now let's try... I like that. That's what you call training. Look at her. Look at her. just can't help it. It just comes naturally. Yeah, he looks like he's been doing a little bit, too. Don, you look just a little bit wet. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Oh, that'd oh. be great now. Okay, over again. If you can't reach the floor, then bend your knees a little and reach it. And then walk out with your hands, but keep your heels down. This and bounce your heels up and down a little. Try to keep your heels touching. This, again, is to stretch the back of your legs out. Oh, Walk out a little further if you can. This reminds me of the enormous creep. <laughs> <laughs> OK, come over forward and let your thighs down, head way up. This also is a, it's a good one for your back, if your back's in good condition, but you have, to, you have to be careful. Uh, Don, let your thighs all to Jack. Let your, your thighs all the way down, lift your head up. Push your arms Can you up push straight. your arms up straight? Or don't you have that kind of flex? But that's yeah. the way. That's good, it. Good. That's what we were looking for. Now raise your head, too. You keep your, your thighs tight, your, the muscles in your You don't need to. You can let them come down so that your back gets a good stretch Relax. this Just way. Can you down. bounce? So good. Yeah, I bounce a little. Good. I always bounce a little on everything because bouncy exercises do give you a rounder, uh, rounder kind of body, and I like rounder bodies, right? Right. 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 But, okay. <laughs> That's why we're here. As long as everybody agrees with me, we're okay. And down. <laughs> You'll give us hatter exercises if we right, don't. Right. <laughs> okay, come back onto your knees and let me show you something. You know, what we were doing are sort of, uh, they'd be violent exercises for anyone who was just beginning. That, those are exactly the same stretches, or very close to them, as the ones you get when you come out this way. My feet are very dirty. Grab hold over your feet and bounce your feet up. Can everybody reach over your toes? I can. Grab your ankles this way and pull your she got feet nice up back. long legs so that's why yeah she has come up. what oh, can what? you get your knees down straight okay now grab hold of your ankles and pull up from there 
flexibility is different with everybody. Each each person is just a little bit different. What you do is don't worry about being different. Just do what you can. That's all you ever have to do. Just what you can. Okay. Everybody ready? Come up and let's try something a little bit different. Now, this one is. We start off. Look at her. Look at her. Still jogging. <laughs> You're okay, start with your left foot first, and go left, right, and then jump around this way. Right, left, and jump around this way. Okay, everybody count. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now feel your bottom. When you twist around and land on that foot, feel the way your bottom tightens up. Bang it with your fist and see if it tightens up the way it should. Come over and only the one you, you're, you've got tight, because if you bang on the other one, it's going to hurt. When the muscle's tight, it really doesn't hurt if you bump your, your hand into it. Okay, and one, feel it tomorrow. two, <laughs> three. One, two, three. Really feel it. Three. This is a deceptive one, exercise. Two, three. I know, it looks easy. Uh, when you twist around and land, feel what happens all the way down your thigh. Feel the way it tightens up and the way your bottom tightens up. But all it gets your whole thigh all the way down gets it all tightened up. That's what that twisting action gets. That's why you want to twist around and really land on that foot. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, do it a little bit faster. Just swing around. Hey, everybody forgot to count. <laughs> one, two, three. 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 You know, Keep going. <laughs> Everybody has in them sort of a, a natural rhythm. When you're first starting to exercise, you automatically go a little slower, and that's the way you're meant to do things. When you're first starting to learn a movement, you move more slowly, and then as you get used to it, you speed it up again. And that's, that's the way always you learn exercises and movements. First you move a little more slowly, and then you swing into it very naturally. Okay? Pull your benches out. <laughs> We don't need those cushions. Want to pull this one a little down further down this way so we can get everybody so in. Sort of oh, we've got everybody okay, I think, haven't we? Yeah. Okay, now lie down with your legs over the edge. Oops, <laughs> you're right. I went over too far, too. Legs all the way over the edge. Now these, again, are for the hips. And again, you'll be able to feel when the muscle tightens up. First, put your hands around the edge and lift one leg up as far as you can. You have to tighten the knee and point the toe or you're not going to get the... There he goes with that tongue again. That's great. <laughs> he does a beautiful tongue exercise every, every time he concentrates. His tongue curls. <laughs> okay, lift the one leg straight, have the toe pointed. Keep the other foot on the floor to give you a little bit of balance. And down and up. Swing it way up. Oh, you really feel that? Can you feel it? Thighs. Feel your bottom as you do it so you can see how much it tightens up. You know, obviously, when you're beginning, you do every movement the first time slowly. And I shouldn't, you know, I keep telling you just to remind you in case you haven't watched before. But be sure always that the first movement is a slow one so you can't hurt yourself. Okay, now the other leg. Up, keep the knee tight, toe pointed. The more you can put into it, the more you're going to get out of it. But always, if you're just beginning, do it gently. That must help the waistline, too. Put the feeling uh, <laughs> a little bit of effort. You know, can you feel that in your back, too? Yeah, really? Yeah. This is also a good exercise all the way up to your waistline. In fact, further than that, because you're also holding on with your arms and shoulders, so it's good all over. But it really gets you all through your lower back and your hips and bottom. Okay, this one's just a little bit different. Now you raise both of them and down. <laughs> Vicky, you're marvelous. <laughs> you look like a scorpion. <laughs> you can do a solo, look at that. Vicky. Isn't that beautiful? Can you oh. do back bends? I'll bet you can. Not Sometimes I can do it. I bet you could. You got a good bend. That's really beautiful. Uh, one thing you've got to remember is you bring your legs up, keep the knees tight and the toes pointed. Okay, and relax. And now. Bring both legs up 
and keep them up there and just bounce them a little bit. But keep them straight out, toes pointed. You can hang on with your arms. Really, <laughs> You'd better hang on with your arms. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> that could, that's good for the breath. Too. The, those are really good for your, for your hips. They really are. Beginners, remember, you just do one, if you just raise one leg at a time and pull it up straight, that's as good a beginning as you need. All you need is just to try something once or twice to begin with. And as you go along, build it up. Okay, let's try it just a little different. Put your legs out to the sides. You should be just <laughs> done. That's great. You that look so relaxed. Girl there. Watch out. Okay, one leg up, catty corner. Again, be sure you have the toe pointed. Remember, first time gently. You got a cramp? What happened? Oh. <laughs> if you had it pointed, you couldn't bang it on the floor. That's Donald. <laughs> he's got a new approach. He looks the like relaxed he's going to while he does it. <laughs> okay, the other toe. The other toe, the other leg, the whole leg, not just the toe. Again, feel your bottom and feel what happens. The other one, dear. <laughs> How does it feel? Does it? Good. Yeah. Can you feel it? Good. Okay. Now the next step is again. The next step we did on the other one. That's with both of them out to the side. Bring them both up, but way out to the side. Vicky, that's that's so great. <laughs> She's gonna do a somersault, I think. Yeah, right over. An arm and relax. <laughs> she really knows how to relax. <laughs> okay, now both legs up and out, catty corner, and bounce them just a little bit and hold them up. You should be resting only on your hips, so your legs have to do all the work themselves. Keep the knees tight and the toes pointed. Remember, if you're just beginning, that's going to be hard for you. Just do, you know, one leg at a time and just raise it gently. Even when you're beginning, even if you have the knee bent, it's not all that serious because you're still at least getting the leg up and that's going to tighten your bottom. If you bend, it doesn't do quite as good a job, but it still does something. So begin any way you can. We'll work our, ways, our way up as we go. Okay, this time, kick your bottom. First one leg and then the other. Can't find it, Maggie. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> I didn't need to say that, did I? <laughs> okay, now both legs. Okay, now keep both legs up near your bottom and bounce them in. Okay, one more on the benches. Come up on your hands and knees. Get all the way down on with your chest against your legs. Arms out. And try to keep your, put your chin down. And just roll forward with your chin right along the bench and back. And out and back. <laughs> right off. Okay, now with your hands up in front of you, bounce your bottom up and down. What we're trying to do is get at the bottom muscles from as many different directions as we can. And as I said before, it's the bouncy things that make, that give you a nice bouncy bottom. So now we're going to go on and do some things that give you a little bit more bounce. Let's put the benches back. There is in the, in the pelvis, in the lower part of your back, right at where you connect, there's a, a nice natural spring that you have in your body, a nice natural bounce that as you get older sort of disappears. And that's because you stop moving. You stop bouncing around, running and jumping, things like that. And if you want to keep it nice and bouncy and keep your bottom nice and bouncy, what you have to do is bounce. Let's start with a few things where we're just squatting. You know, little kids always have that kind of bounce because they are moving all the time. 
That's one reason, by the way, that I really object to the way the schools have physical education programs. Wouldn't you love to be able to get up every hour by the side of your desk and run like the devil? Yeah. Or jump? Or leap around? Or sing? Or do something really violent just for a few minutes? Wouldn't That's that feel great? great? Yeah, it'd be great. And, you know, it really doesn't take that much time, and then they're more relaxed and comfortable and happy for the rest of the hour. It would make such a lovely difference. We'd have a bunch of happy, healthy kids. It is, it may, does make you healthier, too, because it makes all ligaments and all the spine, everything, a lot healthier if they get that kind of increased circulation and movement. Okay, come up onto your toes, and down, and up, and down, up. Can you do it without using your hands? Up. And down. <laughs> <laughs> up yeah. and down. It's easy to lose your balance. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Balance, balance only takes, you know, time. And after a while, you can do it easily. This must be marvelous. There's, feet. you know, this is one thing. <laughs> if you have hearing troubles, quite often you'll have troubles with balance, balance? too. It goes right along with it. Oh, yeah. And uh, even there, if you practice a lot, you can make it a lot better just by practicing over and over the balance things. Try it with your, is your head bothering you? Sit back and relax for a few minutes. Don't do too much. If you get tired, if you get overheated or anything, just relax. Don't try to do too much. All you have to do is what you're capable of. That's all it takes. Just what you're capable of each day, a little bit more as you go along all the time. Why don't you lie down? Okay, that's better. Put your arm over your head. Keep the, the lights out of your eyes. That's the way. Okay, bring one knee down and then the other. <laughs> that's good. That's, that's good for your feet, too. <laughs> Hmm? Keep your knees apart or close together. Well, you, well, if you can get them together, try. But I, I don't think I it'd don't. be very easy. <laughs> okay, feet apart a little and come up with your bottom just a little bit. And come round the touch on one side and then round the touch on the other. This is a very good one for the side of your thigh right here. That really tightens them up. It is. You'll feel it after a while. <laughs> I believe it. Even ankles, too. Yeah, good for your ankles, your feet, your thighs, your knees, everything. If you're doing each one as we start very slowly, then you'll know what things you shouldn't do because you can always feel right away if something's wrong. How are you doing, Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to let us gals wait Jackie, down. Look at this. Try just swinging all the way with both feet turning. Turn them both around. It's I know what's throwing you off. Your feet are too close yeah. together. Put your feet further apart. And now swing around. That's better. Now around again. That's the way. Now feel that more? Show us up. <sighs> Okay, move in a little. Come down on your knees. And come all the way up and down on your knees. And up <laughs> and down on your knees. Something up the center of oh. gravity. And down. <laughs> Feel that? Try to come right down flat on your feet. Put your knees underneath your arms and you can do it more easily. That's good. Good done. <laughs> and sit for a minute. Okay, come back up again. Can you get up on your feet this way without using your hands? Try it, sit down again. All of these, all of these lifting and sitting back things are great for your bottom. Just come forward onto your feet, can you do that? And down, Yeah. and if, up. If you're left-handed or right-handed. Vicki, how you feel? Still hurt? Vicki gets a headache from the heat. If you're left-handed or right-handed, would you tend to strain, you know, one side more than the other? Like your left side or your right uh, side? You usually tend to favor your strong side. That's why it's a good idea to keep your, your arms in front of you this way. Oh. Because then if you start going over to the side, you, you can see, see it. it and you can feel it. Yeah. This keeps you, you coming up evenly the whole time. Go to the right. <laughs> you do. You go to the right. I go to the right. The bottom is getting heavier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that does happen. <laughs> Okay, up onto your feet. See if you can come down onto your knees this way and straighten your feet out and sit back. Up and put your feet under and come up. <laughs> and down and put your feet down. And up and feet up. Down. That's good for the toes. Down. Up. That's a little trickier. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can tell when they get hard because Jackie's tongue curls. <laughs> 
I love that. I saw you probably in another way too. We did a, we did a, a set one day on uh, face exercises where we did all kinds of tongue things. I should have had you. You'd be great. Okay. Most expressive tongue I ever saw. Yeah, isn't, it, isn't that amazing? That's really great. All right, sit down this way. Let's try it. Let's try this first. Sit down and put your one leg right up against your thigh here. And now lean down along this arm. Bring your leg way out and back. Put your arms either on the floor or wherever you can. And bring the back leg up off the floor. This is a little trick, just a little bit. What does this do? Feel your bottom. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, it, does, it does something to the under thigh. Yeah. It's very difficult to pick your foot up off the floor here. These are those last few inches that really tighten it up. That's why we're getting you, you in a position where there's only one thing you can do. If you're going to lift it, you have to use those last few inches. And that's why, uh, you know, getting you into all this curled up position makes a difference. Okay, over to the other side and do the same thing. And again, lean way over your leg and lift your leg up. Straighten it out if you can. Point the toe. Again, it's much harder on one side. No, yeah, it's, it always it's much is. Harder. You're always weaker on one side. This is my weak side, definitely. Do you tend to uh, rest when you're standing on one hip? Yes. Which one? My left. Try resting on the other one for a while. Not only does it give you a nice, even body, but you tend to get weaker on the side that you don't use. So if you, if you always remember to shift your weight from one the leg that you tend to let your weight rest on to the other, it helps. Actually, what you're supposed to do is stand on both evenly because then the weight is distributed more evenly. But I know maybe two or three people who tend to do that naturally. Most people do shift from, in fact, most people just rest on one hip. Right. Okay. You carry that's, bundles in one arm in your pocketbook and one that's arm. That's right. Yeah. In fact, I have one shoulder a little higher than the other from carrying my heavy suitcase loaded down with all my information in it. One leg out this way and swing it around. Hmm. Keep it straight and way oh. out and back. Huh? <laughs> and round uh. and back. <laughs> you like that one, Don? Jackie and Don play basketball all the time. And you can tell it when you watch them messing around here because they not only are very fast, they're also very tricky. <laughs> Of course, we only gave him a balloon to work with. <laughs> and they have had something to do with it. Maggie goes like an automaton. <laughs> yeah, right on the other know. side. Yeah. It's that yeah, machine gets somebody. to working, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Bring your leg way over in front and be way fun. back. You know, it really is gorgeous. It's the only machine that gets better with practice. You oh, just, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. You work long enough and it'll really get to work for you and do all the work for you that you need. Sometimes more, sometimes less, according to, you know, you always have to work within the limitations of the body, but you can always improve it in some way. Okay, sit on your knees. I want to show you something that a boy showed me who's from Uganda. In Uganda, all the women sit like this to to fix the meals and to serve the meals. By the way, another thing that's very interesting is they eat with their hands, but they always wash their hands first, and then the, the mother serves everything and everyone eats. But what they do is sit this way, and they are not allowed to lean over like this. They have to grab hold of, try this and feel the difference. It really stretches you all up here. And sitting, just sitting down on your side really uses your hips and bottom. No, it really does, doesn't it? Everything feels tight. It really makes a difference. But watch what happens. Come up this way and feel. Mm. That's great for the thighs. What happens with your legs? And sit down on the other side. Feel your thighs as you come up and feel how, how much of the muscle works as you go. Right. Mm. It really, really does make it all hard. And feel your bottom <laughs> also. And feel how hard it gets as you move over. So they automatically are keeping themselves all slim and tight through the hips and bottom. And then this business of having to sit this way also stretches them up through the sides so they're bound to be tight through the waistline too. You seem to tend to get a cramp, though, almost. Maybe it's because, That's because you're not, you're not used, used to, to it. Mm -hmm. Anything you're not used to is likely to give you cramps, but once you get used to it, you practically it's practically impossible to get a cramp. I haven't had a cramp for a long time until I bothered my ankle, and now as it's getting better, every now and then I will, but only if I do something the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be being careful with this. <laughs> I am a little. Fine. I'm a little careful. <laughs> okay, another thing that they do in Uganda is the pregnant women always... 
uh, sit like this. It's, a, it's again, built into the culture. They grab a hold of their toes and then rock this way. And what this does it is, if you feel your thigh here, it tightens up here. And just the rocking, you have to catch yourself with your abdominal muscles, tighten them to pull yourself back over. And because you have the weight of the baby in front, your back would automatically turn to tend to curve here. So this is curving it this way, so you get rid of any problems with your back that you have. And they just sit and rock this way. Whenever they're sitting, instead of just being quiet, they rock. Feels and marvelous for your lower back. It is. But isn't this, it, I think it's so strange that it should be something that the pregnant women always do. It really feels wonderful, doesn't it? It does. It's a nice little exercise. It doesn't take a lot too. of effort, but it's really very strengthening all through the parts where you, where you need it. The men tend to just sit on uh, low stools. They're still getting a certain amount of work, but since the men are out in the fields all the time, and hunt, they still do do a lot of hunting and fishing and gardening there. Then they they keep the balance that way. They keep their hips and thighs round. Oh, no. Bending In most sticking. primitive cultures, you have that same kind of thing. The uh, people, because they sit on the ground and they're they're hunting and fishing and gardening, they keep nice and firm. They keep the women have things built in like this that that tend to make the the changes for them. Another thing that's really that I think is very important for us to change is a business of first of all sitting on the floor and the second thing is to get up without using your hands. Can you come up without using them? And down again. Oops, a little and crack up. in the knee. <laughs> yeah, well I creak all the time. I don't worry about that. I'm convinced it isn't a sign of age because it happens to me. I've heard of 14 uh, year olds <laughs> creak. <and bang>. <laughs> <laughs> I used to creak when I was 10. I really oh. did. Once I started growing fast, I started creaking. Yeah. Yeah. Newborn babies have little creaks and cracks Didn't in their they joints. Really? They do already. I was just reading something on it the other day, and it's, it's sort of beautiful. Creaks obviously don't make a difference. <laughs> I like they this can, one better for the long haul. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and now the last thing, the thing that I was mentioning before that really makes a difference is in the primitive cultures. Come over first and relax down a little to get loosened up, unroll, and now run. It's very important if you want to really get your bottom nice and bouncy to do bouncing type exercises. Jump. He's got the bounce over right. there. <laughs> These kind of bouncing things are gonna make your bottom nice and bouncy too. It makes it round and firm. The muscles really tighten up. Try it on one foot. Jump from one to the other. That's what they call more bounce to the ounce. <laughs> if you hop on just one foot, obviously it's gonna make the muscle work harder than if you hop dance. on both because you're putting all your weight on one foot. Look, he can dance too. Yeah. <laughs> Try it with the other one. Vicky, you feeling better? Yeah. Good, that's Another great. Dancer. Okay, kick your feet up this way. Anything at all you can do to make your bottom tighten up. Now straighten your legs out and kick them that this way. Remember, you need bouncy exercises for a bouncy bottom. Keep bouncing. Good for you, Joe. That's all aim for bouncy bottoms. <laughs>